Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots, boot lickers, shills, guests, lacers, peasants, vassals, minions. I'm a useful idiot. Welcome. And uh, my apologies for not doing so many videos uh, of recent. Um, just been haven't been feeling my idiot self. So anyway, let's uh, get back to uh, today's reports. One is that uh, France has now uh, had an airstrike in Iraq. And of course, I thought at this point I would be saying uh, multiple French airstrikes in Iraq, but uh, kind of adds to the humor of the situation that we've had one French airstrike. And, uh, but uh, it's uh, going to be a great thing for Obama because now he officially has a coalition of some sorts, coalition of the willing, um, coalition of the whiny. Um, but anyway, we're going to have France now join in airstrikes, or so it would appear. And uh, 24 hours after he made the announcement, the airstrike took place. And, uh, of course, it begs the question, if uh, why couldn't there have just been another one more U.S. airstrike instead of just this one French airstrike? But uh, symbolism is uh, big these days. And uh, so that's what this is uh, all about, particularly for uh, Hollande, because uh, he is not a popular president in France. In fact, his domestic policies has been a disaster. But uh, my hat's off to him being socialist. He's every bit the warmonger his uh, capitalist counterparts uh, are and were. So uh, hats off to him for that. And uh, but his uh, his foreign interventions have been uh, quite popular. So uh, Hollande's uh, foreign policy has been popular. His uh, interventions in uh, Mali and the Central African Republic, as well as Libya. And uh, also shows quite an eagerness to get into Syria. And, of course, uh, getting uh, uh, France involved in a war will help distract the populace from the fact that France is in a depression and its uh, economy is in a shambles and there's a lot more damage to come. But uh, let's get back to the, the big picture. of uh, So now we have the so-called coalition. We have uh, Arab states funneling uh, lots of money. And then uh, we can have Western powers uh, supplying weapons, and, uh, and surprisingly, Germany has uh, joined in the fray. So now we have Germany, the UK, the US, France, Iran, and a number of other players all uh, supplying arms uh, to the Kurds as well as the U Iraqis. And uh, so that, that'll be good for France's economy, too. Uh, every little bit helps. And uh, But uh, we have this. Uh, coalition, but mostly uh, uh, people who are willing to supply uh, all kinds of things except for uh, combat troops. But of course, we have this uh, dilemma going on about U.S. combat troops uh, going on now as well. Uh, Obama kicking and screaming that there will be none, although we already have 1,600 in the field or in uh, Iraq now, and, uh, and a lot of uh, reports coming that they're already in the field. And uh, time will tell, because as, uh, as Obama has pointed out, uh, this is going to be a war that's going to last a while. And uh, so France has uh, put their toe in the water and showed that they're going to be part of the, the coalition. And uh, they are testing the waters, and then we'll also see the United States and France probably testing the waters in France, I mean in uh, Syria as well. Uh, and maybe France. Uh, we'll get around to them. And uh, so now we have uh, the frightening duo of the United States and France against ISIS. I'm sure ISIS is getting very nervous already. I'm a useful idiot. Don't you be one too.